Hello, good evening. Welcome, welcome. My name is Sabine Dako. Welcome. I want to share uh, with you so your dream will require stamina and skill. Your dream will require stamina and skill. Your your dream will require stamina and you will need skill. I I remember when we were uh, in school the other time, so a few years ago, uh, on the whole floor, I remember there was only one guy, a friend of ours, who had a mobile phone. And uh, uh, he was a big man that time. But, uh, and I also remember if you if you had to make a phone call uh there were a lot of for that phone lines you know gt kind of telecom lines you had to go to town sometimes you will ring 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 for you know for hours before the line will go through then just in uh, 10 years or so now a lot of people have smartphone internet is spread everywhere the time that we used to go to the cafe and uh, to you know browse and send emails now people are doing a lot on their phones the social media knowledge is spreading it depends on what kind of knowledge joke knowledge sports knowledge you know religious knowledge science knowledge technology all kind of things are spreading i'm saying that to say that we live in a different time now a lot of things have changed a lot of things has, have come and uh, yet some things must be understood and must be clearly uh, at least uh, considered that that dream that you have that aspiration whatever is in your heart you, you will need stamina and you will need scale. You will need stamina, big one, and you need scale. If you ever think that those things are just going to be there, every one of us has some form of talent. You just came with it. You didn't do much to have it were born with it. There's something that you do which is very easy for you. There's something that you understand. There's something that you your mind easily processes. Those every one of us has. And the problem is what you do beyond that. Every one of us may have some kind of dream. Even if people don't agree with your dream. You, whatever dream that you want. Maybe you want to build a business. Maybe you want to build a product somewhere. Maybe you want to, you know, get a particular job. Maybe you want to have, you want to get, you know, you so desire to become a particular profession. You know, so like some people want to become police people, you know, police officers. Some people want to become military. Whatever that you desire to become. Some people want to, by all means, own a company, own a business. I mean, that for me was a dream. So want to wanted to own a company. How to do it, I don't know, but it was a big dream. Some people want to have, you know, baby, marry. Some people have to. Everything that uh, is in your dream, some, something, it will require for you to do it and do it well. It will require uh, stamina and you will need skill. They don't just happen like that. They, don't not, they do not just happen like that. So, uh, and unfortunately, a lot of us have been, you know, trained and groomed with a lot of things, assumptions, scriptures and statements and sayings and motivational statements all across. And a lot of them have not really, really pushed us forward. So uh, when you say that people will need, you know, stamina, and they will need skill, you know, they go contrary to what most people 
would expect you to, you know, to think and to have. But unfortunately, you will need that. You will need that. You will need that. And I think the next generation must also think like that. A lot of people are talking about China, 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 China. You know, at least <laughs> something you cannot take from the Chinese. They don't take, they don't joke with their work. They have that. If they must do it, majority of them work. They pay attention. If they have to do something and they have taken something from you and they say they want to do it. Even here, they have come here. Can you see? They come to somebody's country to do what I'm saying. It's, it's unthinkable. But the Chinese can do it. <laughs> it's uh, as funny or as dangerous as it may seem, as it may seem. I wonder how many Africans can go to China to go and try how to do what I'm saying. Go and and try to do something with their land. It's almost unthinkable, it's almost impossible. But they would dare to go to anywhere, go to the inner city, and try to do something which we consider illegal. They have something. And so the dream, having the ability to dream, a lot of us will have it, a lot of us have it. It's not so much if it's a talent that you have. A talent, everybody may have. The difference is the extra mile. You know, the magic is in the extra mile. It's not so much I, I, I know how to sing or I know how to uh, run or play football. No. If you cannot consume, if you, not, if you cannot push yourself, you know, to train your dream of playing in the National League, in the National Football Team, will not come. Because two things. Uh, make people expect, you know, they become expert at something. They they become masters of something. And these two are very much important. Skill development, or the skill and stamina. Skill and stamina. And usually I talk about business, I talk about entrepreneurship, and um, you need that. You need stamina. And you need constant skill development. The precisions of this, I mean, the accuracy of decisions don't just come at the beginning. They come when you are skilled. <laughs> they come when you have perfected something. They come when you can understand what is put before you. They come when you have trained, when you've been processed. Precision comes out of that. And it takes a lot of time to get to that stage. And that will require stamina. That will require stamina. You know, I said that talent, everybody has it. What is needed is your ability to stay beyond the talent. It's not just the talent. Some people talk so much about their talent. Some people talk so much about the product they have produced. Some people talk so much about that which they have done. They want to everybody. That's not where the magic is. The magic is <laughs> your ability to sharpen it, to make it classy. And that will take a lot of time. And so add value to yourself. Add value to the talent that you have. Let it become a skill. Let it become a skill. If it's a writing talent that you have, if it's speaking, if it's teaching, if it's business, if it's a, maybe you're missing, whatever that you have, it will require skill development. Skill development. The right knowledge is needed for any talent to become a skill. And its application, the right application of the right knowledge will push you to become a skilled something. You know, so there are surgeons who are very skillful. Why? Because they have practiced. They have processed the right knowledge. If you're weak, if you try something and you give up, if you meet opposition and you give up, if you meet if you make mistakes and you just go back, if you meet pressure and you quit, you don't have a stamina. <laughs> they have stamina. And some people think that just because, you know, like the way they have trained us, just because you know, you believe in something, it will happen. Anyway, not necessarily so. You need a lot of push. Constant development. 
you will need that for you to see any success and uh, if you see a business that you're doing <laughs> if you see anybody succeeding in any business that is growing growing well intrinsically there is something that they know if you see anybody succeed at anything there's some skill that they have it's not just the green raw talent no they know something they know something and they didn't get there by complaining they got there by training by having energy by pushing so keep your energy and keep going you're going to take a lot of blows a lot of you know stress a lot of pressure but you cannot just give up and quit on your dream and just because they say that dream big yes it's good but once you're dreaming big you also know that you have, you have got to have the required energy to get to that dream you have also got to know that you you're going to do that or develop the required skill to get that dream realized every dream that you have will take you a skill to record uh, to realize it and it will take you a lot a lot of stamina a lot of stamina a lot of energy a lot to get to that dream and so you know the way that uh, they have trained us and taught us you know, and when you are talking to the, the religious people people like me we talk about favor and grace you know talk about blessing we believe in those so whenever we meet anything that requires us to stay put and to keep pushing if you were taught the other side you will think that if God is in it you will not suffer like that if it's God is if God is in it you not stress like that that's a wrong conditioning you will need stamina you will need to go forward you will need skill if it's not working does not mean that it's bad sometimes it's not working and most of it is not working because you don't have the right skill to get the results like our continent is one of my biggest examples it's not working not because <laughs> somebody has cares as well <laughs> most countries are not working because they are being led by men unskilled men unskilled men they may have the dream to develop their various countries but they may not be skilled they may not have the right skill the right tools to provide the leadership think and plan and put the right things in place for the development to happen maybe it's your company it keeps struggling 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 you know it keeps going through like that it's not because somebody's chasing you it's because the skill to lead a company is not there if not learnt it if not studied it don't have the right background the right formation the right foundation so you cannot see your way through maybe it's the family maybe it's even a, a personal life that you want to become something one you will need energy strength to keep going to get up and study to get up and plan to go and meet that person you need that i say you're building you're developing a concept a business model you need that and they say that anyway you know you are sitting at, at, at home you planning you, you, you drew you draw the you drew the concept i mean you wrote the business plan no problem beyond that you will have to get up and go and meet somebody sometimes they will disagree with you they will insult you they will suck you if you don't have stamina and you meet the first position, you give up. You say that why am I worrying myself like that? Because for me, for most people, they think that it's, it comes easily. No dream, no dream. Not is it's a big one. Is achieved without stamina. No greatness. 
No, nothing is achieved without stamina. Never buy that lie. If you want to become the president of our country, uh, you will need stamina. You would have to organize, convince people to see that you can do it. You have to meet people, they will lie, they will take everything that they know about you. Some of them, will, some close people will say stories around you. That is how it is. You need to stumble. But if the one sc one scandal comes out and you say that no 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 I'm not going to do it again, you don't have stamina. You need that. Any dream that you have. Any dream. You will meet opposition. You will meet challenges. And business dream, you will meet thousand and one. <laughs> you will meet thousand and one. So Charlie, it's not easy. Uh, you need stamina. You need strength. You need to keep going. And that is a thinking. It's a philosophy. It's a mindset. If you didn't program yourself, if you didn't condition yourself, and if you're feeble, if you're feeble, if you if you if you're a weak person, not only physically, but sometimes a lot of people are weak, I think, in their mind. Not even physically, in their mind. They're weak emotionally. They cannot stand for themselves. You cannot achieve any dream beyond yourself if you're not going to fight, going to go there, going to talk to people, disagree with people, stand on your ground, say what is on your mind, ask more questions, negotiate, debate, challenge, question. If you don't have that strength, you cannot achieve that goal. You cannot achieve that dream. And beyond the stamina, you need constant progress in terms of your skill. Because every dream has particular skill set to get them realized. The skill set to become a very good carpenter it's not the same skill set to become a very good politician. The skill set to become the best project manager may not be the same skill set to become a very good successful business owner. The word apart, you know, so you have to know what skill do I need to succeed with this dream. You must know that. Every dream that you have, you must know. What do I have to become? What do I have to understand to achieve a lot? That's why they say that people who achieve a lot in this life, yeah, they have that. When everybody was giving up, they were, they were still going. And a lot of the skill that you need to succeed with your dream may not even be the skill in the classroom. Because the classroom skill was for the exam. And that's why they gave you A or B or first class or no class. But in, in life, one of the things, especially in commerce or in business, one of the things that you must be very good at is your ability, the skill to lead and to manage people. So much important. The ability to connect with people, to understand people, to understand how they think and to position yourself to get the best if you have to work with them. Your ability to manage your own self. The reactions that come from within. Those are all skill. Discipline. So that dream <laughs> will not happen if you don't have stamina. Every dream that you have any challenge, any dream, any goal that you set for yourself. The moment you set that goal, you have asked for trouble. You have asked for trouble. And you can only overcome those troubles when you keep developing yourself. And when you tell yourself that I'm not going to give up. When you have energy to keep pushing. To keep pushing. To, to keep going forward. To keep so if you don't have the energy, you 
you may have to know that your dream that you so much have. And that's why people who so much, you know, people, a community or culture or a group of people, country, tribe, race, who is the give up at the slightest opposition are always where they are. And so if you, if the culture produces a lot of people who like comfort, they will never dream big. Or they will never be able to achieve any big dream because they like comfort. One of the things that will kill your dream is comfort. Comfort. You don't like discomfort at all. <laughs> you like your nice life. Some people say that they don't want more, you know, they just want very little. I have a friend who says that he doesn't want much out of life, he just wants a little. And yet he works with a big company. Then I ask him, people that you work with, if they thought of their comfort and they didn't want much out of life, do you think you will have a job? Sometimes when you're thinking of only yourself and your comfort, you may be denying others of the same opportunity that somebody gave you. So your dream is not just for you. It's not just for you. You know, I want to build a house, buy a car, send my children to school, uh, to, to America or to school. And I want to have very small money to live on retirement. And you are on this continent. That is unacceptable. Your dream should be linked to changing and improving others. Cannot live life only for yourself and live a selfish life only for you and your family. Your dream should be connected because, as a matter of fact, somebody's dream is connected to you, whether you know it or you don't know it. You may take the stress, you may take the pain, you may have to develop your skill, but somebody, somebody's future is connected to that dream that you have. And if you have that dream to be that much little and small, you are, you are not helping somebody to live their dream as well. So your dream must be connected. It must be big. And especially if you're from Africa, your dream must be connected to our development and our progress. Our ability to fight the poverty and the ignorance. It has to have something to do with that dream that you have. Whatever, whatever that you want to become. Your dream must be linked to somebody. Lifting somebody up, lifting somebody out of poverty, helping somebody to go to school, helping somebody to start a business, helping somebody to become whatever is in their heart. It should be part of your dream. And the moment you also decide to help somebody, they will do things that you will not like. But that's why we say that for you to realize the dream, you will need stamina and you will need skill. You cannot stay at class one and think that that class will get you to be a master. It never happens like that. You must be skilled. You must be skilled in what your dream is about. You must be skilled in, in how to manage people, lead people. You must be skilled in how to lead yourself, even how to deal with the position and people who don't agree with you. It's your skill development. It's like a business entrepreneurship is a skill development. All the mistakes, all the difficulties, all the challenges happen. And they overwhelm you because your skill level was low. The moment you start to get skill, you start to feel where you start to make the right choices and the right decisions. And if you don't have stamina, you will not get to the stage where you are skilled to get results. Growth and expansion, development, progress, success, achievement. Leverage is at the point where you're skilled. And that's why you need a lot of stamina to get to that stage. So if you are those people that should be overpromised <laughs> that your life will be that easy, and you'll be successful, like the way people will meet you in town and start to you know, give all kind of ways to you. What they should be telling you is that you have to have stamina and energy, strength. Keep going at your dream. 
and you must resolve to have that openness of mind to acquire any skill develop any skill that is needed and that will help you to realize your dream and that will that will actually bring that dream into uh, reality so other than that is just a dream just a dream it's like i'm here i'm thinking of okay i can build the next city next biggest city in in Ghana, maybe in africa that is just a dream for me to do that i need a lot of energy to go and meet a lot of people to do a lot of talking i need a lot of skill to know where to stay where not to pick where to step who to talk to what to draw what you know so the moment you set any dream you're asking for stamina the proof of your strength and you also will know that maybe you don't have the required skill at this point to realize that dream so when the dream does not come through it's not because somebody did not want it to come through it's because you are not ready to go for these two stamina and skill stamina and skill most people will tell you that oh it's the money uh, yes maybe it's right but if in the money if you have the right skill and you have the right stamina you find the money because the money is not coming from heaven it's on this edge and people have it if you have the right skill you will know where to connect to ask who for money so it's life is constant 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 skill development especially a life to achieve your dreams it's your constant constant skill development and the beauty about life is that whatever skill that you want to develop if you so wish so much desire you may i mean you so desire and you have the stamina for it you can you can acquire that skill that is needed to achieve that dream even if you're not taught even even if nobody told you if you so much desire it and it's part of your dream you will develop the right skill to go for it and also if maybe you are thinking of as a, as a business person Maybe you're thinking as an entrepreneur. Maybe you don't have a job. Maybe you're looking for a place to work. Whatever that you're looking for. Just know that between you and them, there's a lot of effort. And efforts will demand that you have the required strength to keep pushing. And then the next one will be, do you have the required skill? So don't don't be so much concerned about the gift that you think you have. You know, some people have very nice face, very nice height. Some people have very nice eyes, nice nose, nice teeth. Those are just natural gift. Sometimes you can meet somebody very giant. You know, you can see that this is very you know handsome man, but he can push for anything because his strength is weak. His motions. His inner strength. When he goes to any place and they say no, he comes home to cry. <laughs> he comes home to weep. If somebody disagrees with him, he cries. When they tell him no, he doesn't know what to do again. He least expected no. One of the things that you keep on hearing in, in, in on the journey to life and the journey to get into your dreams will be no. Then we have a lot of them. A lot of no's. So if you don't have the right stamina, when you hear the no's like that, you will give up. The next generation, the next people, the guys who are around 20, 18, 19, 15, should understand that it takes stamina. It's not just an application of phone. Because <laughs> that's the generation they came to meet, you know. When we were cray, 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 cray for one hour to get a line through, they came with, to meet some, uh, uh, they came to meet a smartphone. So they try something small and it doesn't work, they become so much disturbed, comfortable. You look at the new generation now, they don't like disturbances at all, they don't like discomfort. Because everything that they came to meet is just, just fast. 
and my generation thinks that maybe we endure a lot of you know pain but these other guys no i hear that even in the universities now emails if they don't the email they don't check if you send a message on facebook they'll reply you in the next minute if you send them emails they don't so we are pro <laughs> we're producing a generation which is very much uh you know they they are very much uncomfortable with stress and uh, discomfort and yet you will need or you will meet those things to get to your dreams and so maybe your training your upbringing never supported that maybe everything was just ready for you like that you know you needed money your mother was there your father was there everything that you needed so you maybe you have been trained with little strength which means you don't have stamina so you will need that life does not care which generation we're born into technology cannot replace your stamina because there will be opposition to your dream your dream to own in a company sometimes your friends even will even start you know your friends will jump and fight you your parents or your mother or your father your siblings may fight your dream you want to start a business they will tell you no go and become something you have a dream in your heart that's one of one of the disadvantages of sometimes having parents who who were so much involved in your life because so much you know they made a lot of decisions for you it becomes difficult for them to let you go and try something most people most parents are hooked up to their children you know? yet if you want to leave what is in your heart usually those parents those family members may not necessarily be comfortable with that which means you may go against them in your bid to achieving your dreams and that will call for stamina because there will be opposition from your very family very few families are the way i see it ever are on the same page with anybody with a big dream very few families very few most great achievers have come from family backgrounds where whatever initially that they wanted to achieve the dream that they have or they had the family could not agree to that because the family will always create a future which is comfortable for you you have to be very tough to leave that future that dream which is opposite to what usually the families will agree so your father may want you to become you know it's very hard for your father to really accept that you wanted to become something that they didn't think for you or your mother and usually what they think of for you is what is to become a lawyer doctor is to become a, an engineer that's what they think for you and maybe that was not what was in your heart maybe you just wanted to become a politician maybe wanted to become a preacher maybe wanted to become a business person and most of these were not really taught in school these are things that you take huge risk and every risk demands discomfort and stamina because greatness is a product of risk of fate you're taking you're jumping into something that you don't know nobody knows it and that takes a lot of energy but you will need to constantly develop the required skill because then because they are expressing uh, they are expressing fear they don't want you to go, get into pain that's why they you know they love you they, they, they protect they protect you they will be very protective of you they don't want you to be in something that will hurt you that is the reason you need the stamina and also you need the skill development because you can't just say that me i'm stubborn i'll go for it yes you go for it but you need alongside you need the required skill and you need the required upgrade of skill of knowledge to get the results the fact that you say that i'm stubborn does not mean that the fact that you're staying does not mean you're not you're, you're getting results the, 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 the fact that you have the energy does not mean you're getting results you know like for instance if they give a catalyst to cut a tree you can decide to sharpen the catalyst you know before you cut the tree or you decide that they yeah, will use the plant like that and cut it means that you are going to exert a lot of energy 
You have stamina, but you're not using skill, wisdom, because skill is a product of knowledge, of wisdom, of understanding, of studying what is required to get results, the right results. So if you just stubborn and you're not going for the skill, sometimes you get exhausted so much. And sometimes you will see that the people who get so much and who warn you initially will probably be, you know, they will seem like their, their advice was, was really right. They will seem like their, their advice was really right. You know why? Because I'll send a script if there is any. Okay, Cyrus. Um, so it's like that. You want to achieve dreams, you must know that it will take a lot of energy, a lot of, a lot of stamina. And then you don't just keep the stamina. You also look at the right information, the right skill, the right data, the right knowledge. You have to develop yourself constantly. You don't just keep the stamina. So I'm learning business. I want to build business on building business. It's not just because I'm just stubborn. I don't want to give up. That's fine. But I'm also learning. I'm also looking at the things that I don't know. I'm looking at where to connect, who to connect, who can I learn from? That's constantly because that makes it easier for me to succeed. The reason why I'm not succeeding or the reason why somebody is struggling all these ways and is not getting results is because what he knows does not get results. Skill is what gets results. It's not just the talent. Skill. Constant. Insistent. You know, constant. Continuous results and growth. They come as a result of skill. It's not because you have talent for it. No. It's because you have skill. You, know, you, 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 can, you, can, you can be accurate. You can score the goal because you, you have, you've been given the right training. So it's very much important. If you don't have energy, you cannot achieve your dreams. But just energy alone without the right skill is tough. It's tough. It's tough. So my name is Obinda. I'm talking about uh, your dream will require stamina. Never forget that. Your dream will require stamina and it will require skill. That's why most people live average life. Most people never live their dream. Most people live the social life, what society told us, which is go to school, get a job, marry, give birth, take care of your children, go on retirement, take care of your grandchildren, and then you are off. That's what most, if you look around, that's what most people live. If you want to do something significant that will impact a lot of people, change lives, change destiny, you must have a dream. And that dream may not really be a product of the social script or the training or the expectations of your family and your parents or the society even. It will take a lot of guts, it will take a lot of uh, risk, it will take a lot of I mean, assumptions even. And so you need stamina for that. You need that. If you pick any classmates, let's say your mates that you completed SHS with, the ones who succeed big, you know, in life, will not necessarily be the ones who were first in the class. It will be the ones who are dreaming. In the university, same. Those who succeeded after university, maybe 20, 30 years after university, will not be those who were first, first class, no, they will not matter. And it will not be those who had last class, it will not matter. It will be those who had stamina and those who were flexible, malleable to adapt and to gain the right skill set to achieve their dreams. To achieve their dreams. And everybody in this life has a fair share of that. You can get a fair shot of how to have stamina and how to develop your skill to get to that dream. So if it's a business, you must know the skills that you need. You need the ability to dream, to keep dreaming, the ability to work with people, the ability to handle your finances well, the ability to structure and think innovatively, the ability to understand how a whole business is set up and work and know how to manage. You will need the strength to keep all these things keep you know going. You will need that strength. There will be a lot of troubles. You need that stamina. 
you need that so you need a scale and you need that stamina if you don't have the two life will push you to be average life and it has pushed a lot of people to be average so many to be average so the, you need that so everybody has the talent don't worry so much about the talent that you have think of the value that you're adding to the talent that you have because that's what is making this whole um, that is what going to make you win add value to yourself constantly become skillful in that which you have set your dream whatever dream that you have become skilled get to know the skill that you need to make that dream that dream come true you need the right knowledge and the right application of that knowledge stamina you need it for the journey you know you need energy keep going feed yourself strong get the right source of feeding get the philosophy and thinking the axiom that will build you you can just get the thinking of a weak feeble person you have to think like a champion you know you cannot give up on yourself because it takes a lot of effort to dream and to dream big and to live to see those dreams if it's a business my god you may fail thousand times before you win once All right so those are the people who there is a, there are a lot of people thinking about the grace of god the favor of god and all those they are there but i don't worry myself about those I would focus on becoming strong, stamina, and skillful. Becoming strong and skillful. The rest will show up. If you have stamina and you have skill, you're favored. If you want to be spiritual, if you have stamina and you have skill, you, you have enough grace. <laughs> that is grace. If you are if you're somebody with spiritual, you want to you want to be spiritual, we can tell that you but stamina and grace is a blessing. You know, so constantly look at developing yourself you cannot give up under pressure you cannot crumble when there are mistakes you cannot crumble when there is opposition when somebody comes to threaten you in your bid to build that business or build that project you can't just go back and cry go and face them fight because the dream that you have will have a lot of disturbances or dist of, of disruptions and they will come in many forms. And the only way that you're going to succeed is because you're strong. You have stamina. You cannot worry over every mistake. You cannot worry over every opposition. You cannot worry over every pressure. Never. Take notice of them. But raise your strength very high. Sometimes you just have to cross over a lot of noise. And keep your vision in check because these are all part of the dream that you want to achieve keep the right association of people who think like that because your strength is coming from the feed that you have the books that you're reading the things that you're hearing the friends that you have those are the things that are going to keep you to have a lot of strength and knowing that if it's not coming and you're not getting the results it's likely that you don't have the required skill and you, therefore you want to go and get the required skill you know so constantly develop that mindset that thinking that i need the required skill to get to this dream through to get this thing through and i need this stuff now never think that anything any dream that you said you think that uh, the president now Leonardo, you thought, do you know when you had a dream to become a president? <laughs> Maybe when he was 40 or 30. You got to become it when he was 17 years. Do you know how much stamina is that? And I'm sure that there were times that he never wanted to continue. But sometimes when you're down, if you keep the right, info, the right information or the right people around you, they will, they will, they will push you not to give up. But if you if you keep weak people but who go one mile and they give up, you will never get to your dreams. So create an association of people who are also dreamers, and people who are strong, who have energy, who are going somewhere. And never forget that skill is what determines the technology that you can use. Skill determines the method that you can use. 
So if you're stuck with the wrong scale, you'll never achieve your dreams. And the one with the better technology will win. Now, if they are, if you are going to war, somebody is having all these planes flying, and I am using catapult, they will, they will kill me in a minute. Because the one with the scale has a better technology, a better method, a better approach to win, to get to the dreams. You need stamina to realize your dreams, and you need skill. I'm, I'm not interested in how much talent do you think you have or how gifted do you think you are mm. i'm interested in what you have added to that gift which then becomes the skill the value that you have added to yourself and that is so much important than just the skill the discipline so we need a whole new generation you can have, of africans who can think think and plan to think to get results because this is why the countries that are winning these are the things that they have that's why they are always doing research and development research and development research and development what do you think they are always looking for new ways they are changing they are challenging thoughts every day they are changing they are, they are challenging the things that they came to meet is this the only way is this the best way this is the only, uh, you know, most efficient way that we can do this. Can we do it cheaper? Can we do it faster? Can we do it in numbers? They're always asking questions. You can only do that when you're thinking. Scale. When you're thinking. Becoming better. Upgrading yourself. And you can always be asking questions when you're weak and you want to go and sleep. You set any dream for yourself. Don't just change it. Put in the effort because you'll get results if you don't give up. I've never seen anybody who has these two and only can be failure. Not at all. Never. No matter how they, how little they had to start with, if they had stamina and they had their mind to keep on developing their, themselves and the skill, they'll get results. And so it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter what you start with. It doesn't really matter even the difficulties that you start with. It may not really matter. Yes, it may matter to you because you are involved. But for me, if I see that you have stamina, you can go, and you have the ability to be taught to, to change and to upgrade yourself, then all the complexities don't really matter. Because with these two, nobody can stop you. With these two, if you have to drive to that village, you have to take trotter to that village. If you have to travel three days to go there and look at it, you go. Because you want to get the dream done. You are ready. If you have to go there ten times, you are there. If you have to stay awake and get it done around 2 p.m. or 2 a.m., you will do it because you have stamina. You are not, you're not just giving up and crumbling. You know? You're not just saying, oh, yeah, I'm tired, I'm tired, what at all. They're not complaining. People with stamina don't complain like that. They don't complain. They're not giving excuses. They want results. And if you know what gives them joy and drive is the ability to get the results. To, you know, because they want to work, they want to put in the effort and they want to see something out of the effort that they put in. When you are with anybody, any employee, any friend, any uh, partner who will not, if there is a work that has to be done. They are not going to sleep until it is done. If you see that thing in anybody, that's a great, great card. They're not giving excuses. They want to get it done. They want results. And they have to do, they want to do whatever they want to do to get it hit. They give you cap and trick work. They're giving excuses. They call you, don't pick. You say that ah, these people, they are worrying us too much. You will never achieve your dream. And it is not demonic. Because you don't have stamina. You give excuses. You want the easy way out. You can drag yourself. Sometimes you're sleeping, you're dragging yourself. You want to finish it because that is what it is. I remember in secondary school, our chemistry master said that if you want to rest, don't worry. When you die, you have enough hours to rest. <laughs> 
You know, you are dying. No, 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 no. When you are dead, you will, you will rest forever. I think it's scripture as well. Those who are dead in Christ at rest. You know, you know, if you want, if you're lazy, 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 and you want to rest every day, you want to rest, you cannot get, you cannot be broke, poor, and be looking for rest. That's why I don't think Africans should be playing and jumping and having entertainment. Because we look around us, we have a work to do. A lot of work to do. So if you are from this continent, you must, you must, you have no other option but to have a stamina. Because you would have to do double, three times, ten times what the others have to do to get results. You need stamina, and you need constant skill development. And no excuses. Never allow any excuses. If anybody is giving excuses and blaming somebody and waiting for God, don't wait for anybody. Get to work. And don't rest until you see results. It doesn't matter. And don't listen to anybody. Anybody can say anything. What is important is what you are saying. What you are saying to yourself. People can say that you don't know what you're doing. You don't have the right skill. You don't know anybody. It doesn't matter. Keep focusing on what you're doing. Continue and be open to getting feedback, feedback, and look at the methodology. If it's not working, upgrade it, change it. If you go, have to go back and get some formation, go back to school, read books, go for training, but whatever it is, you are ready to acquire what you have to acquire to achieve that dream that you have. Whatever dream that you have is achievable if you don't give up on yourself. If you don't give up, even marriage, successful marriage, is stamina and a skill. Stamina and a scale. If you later then you want to give up and say that I'm moving out, you don't have stamina. And if the approach is not working, maybe you need a better approach to believe in what that man or that woman. Everything that is successful, you see this thing. On this earth, you will see stamina and you will see scale. Very much crucial to the future that you so much desire. So look at your life. Every one of us, constantly, every day, we are looking at our lives and see what we don't have, what you need to add. You know, as a woman, sometimes you you would want to just say, that, I'm tired, you know, drink water, go to take a nap, and get back to work, because it's a serious business. Life is a serious business. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching. And please share this to a friend that you think will be, much, uh, will be interested in this. It's not for everybody, actually. It's for those who are dreamers, those who are thinking, those who want to become something with their lives. And we are not, we are not looking for those who are you know, looking for entertainment. We are looking for those who want to achieve something. You have this spirit of never giving up and always becoming better. Those are the people that we are looking for. So thank you. Thank you very much for watching.